I were to tell you, GDP is going to go down from here, inflation is going to go up, our kind of standard definition of stagflation, what do you do? Well, I think you have to look at the commodity market. And to me, I think a lot of people look to commodities for inflation or stagflation because it existed in the 70s and 80s. And I think, not to state the obvious, but the inflation markets are really new. The US Treasury only started the TIPS market in 1997, and TIPS have a lot of problems. Um, they're all long duration, so all of the bonds lose money as yields go higher. And then the only index, per se, it's like, the only index inside TIPS is the consumer price index. And that's not even an index that the Fed uses. You know, they keep talking about core, they'll talk about PCE or survey data. So I'd say, I think it's a really important time to add inflation protection to portfolios, but in the rates markets, not, you know, have your allocation to commodities, have your allocation to gold and other things. But I think inflation-protected bonds look really attractive given how high real yields are, but you have to fix the kind of the problems that are inherent with tips. I thought for sure we were going to get an eyeball mention there. I was going to mention that. <laughs> as, as, as owner for our clients of Ival is, is having the inflation protection, the volatility exposure. A quadratic long product. Ball. Yes. So uh, I would buy that if I were you. Uh, in addition to, when you look at the last couple of years, what have been the safety trades? There's been energy stocks and gold. You told me that real rates would rise. Look at the five-year real rate, 450 basis points from minus 200 to plus 250 over a two-year time frame, and gold would be up. I would not make that connection, but it is. The stickiness in the dollar and gold is up. There is a tremendous underlying bid for gold uh, that makes us long and bullish, in addition to silver, too, as a derivative of the gold. Mike, 30 seconds. The deepest pockets on the planet are buying gold, central banks. And, they, and the l latest in the World Gold Council is, I mean, they can print money and buy gold. Why, what's going to stop them? So I look at U.S. Treasuries across the curve around 5%. I think this time next year, they're going to be around 3%. Gold is going to be about closer to 3,000. No crypto mention. That's the next panel. And I'm definitely not on that panel. Nancy Davis, Peter Bookfar, and Mike McGlone, thank you very much. I'm Oliver Rennick. Thank you, guys.